Welcome back to Dragon Ball Super Anime Review, episode number 54. Yeah, I've reached the 130th episode of the anime, which is an unprecedented super showdown, the ultimate survival battle. Yep, this is the pencil episode of the series, because next week is the final episode. Though, despite the fact like I've heard rumors, series might come back. Episode continues the Goku vs. Jiren fight with some commentary from the sidelines. Yeah. And basically, Jiren's having a tough time facing Goku. Goku basically, in the episode, hits him with like three Kamehameha's. He doesn't say Kamehameha, but it's the Kamehameha wave. Still, <laughs> third one does put him down. The thing is, during the course of the episode, Jiren decides to join Goku's No Shirt Club. Yep, basically destroy his own shirt for a power boost. Yep, because, well, why not? <laughs> it seems as though that to date, the only character of all the regular characters when it comes to Dragon Ball Z, the only one never to go shirtless in the battle was Krillin. Yeah, isn't that quite weird, though? Krillin is the only one who never has never done this. I mean, I get why 18 can't, because she's a woman. It'd be kind of awkward to see that for a series, basically a fighting series, where a woman goes shirtless. It'd be kind of uncomfortable, I guess, for guys, basically, it's perfectly fine. It's sort of like most of the series is basically full with basically guys, more guys than girls. These two fight, and even at one point, because Jiren criticizes Goku for having friends, think that his friendship is his weakness. So he basically launched an attack on the frickin' stands, Luckily enough, that Goku blocks it. Mm -hmm. And basically, and then Goku basically almost knows he's about to eliminate him, and then his power goes haywire. Yep, even Jiren's is shocked at this development. Apparently, it's like almost slowly killing him. It's like even almost like shoot up blood. And then he basically just blast him and he's about to fall. And then he's saved by unexpectedly by freaking Frieza. As for where the heck he's been, never explained in the episode. Though, in the sub, they explained they were hiding. Here, it's like, oh, we have Frieza just appears out of nowhere. And then we have Seventeen, who's alive and well. Yeah, he says, oh yeah, it, it must have it, it was a gamble I had to take. Even he didn't know he was going to survive uh, Jiren's blast. And then the episode ends with... Basically, Frieza and Seventeen teaming up to take on frickin' Jiren. And Goku is off another rock, basically suffering. And that's how the episode ends. Basically, a cliffhanger to basically lead into the final episode of the series, which will finally wrap up this arc. Which, my gosh, it is by far the second longest arc of the entire damn... It's probably the longest arc of this entire series. Well, probably second longest compared to Goku Black. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a good episode, and we're getting close to the very end. Next week will be the final episode of the series. Excuse me. Yep. And after next week, no more Super, unless, of course, well, unless, of course, they decide to release new episodes of the series, but next week will be definitely the last one for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's it for this particular review. I know this one's a little short, but... Not much else to say. Just basically love fighting. And of course, Roshi pointed out though, it was Roshi and Piccolo pointed out though that basically Goku is basically different from what they're saying. Yeah, and it's mostly just Piccolo, Vegeta, and Roshi who says this. The only characters in the stands who's not going to lie is Tien. Yeah, surprisingly, he's the only one. Isn't that quite weird? <laughs> I'm sure it probably is for some people. I mean, heck, Whis's sister gets no lines, and yet she's still sitting in the sidelines. Yep, she's practically been there since, well, <laughs> since, since the Universe 6 guy race. So, we'll find out about that next week. Yep, so yeah, that's it for this particular review. I have no other videos, basically, I'm going to do today. I was going to do another one, but I ran out of time. So, yeah, tomorrow, I'll expect probably, definitely about... Three to four videos tomorrow, basically. Fairy tale. The one I was going to say, but right on time to do Card Cup Sakura. Possibly Comic Corner, and the final thoughts for now on the actual Card Cup Sakura anime. Yep, but also, I'm also going to do another movie review tomorrow. Beyond Disney movie. You'll find out what it is tomorrow, okay? Peace next to you. Bye.